I received a package in the mail. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. Got a note here. It says, Eric, thank you so much for sharing your Maypop seeds with me. I hope you enjoy some of these seeds as well. I got, um, I have Maypop seeds and I sent them to Andrea, um, digging for health. She sent me these cool stickers. <laughs> this one's, I like this one's funny. With the chicken. She has chickens. Look at all the different colors. Like, I don't know if it comes up that well on the camera. She has, this is her channel. You can check it out. She sent me all kinds of seeds. She sent me some, some yellow scallop, summer squash, which I'm going to plant here. Some Congo watermelon. I'm not going to plant these until the end of January because I want them to have a long grow season. She sent me some bottle gourds, which I'll also probably plant in January. Some sugar and snap peas. I'll be planting those today. Some Royal Burgundy Bush Beans, I'll plant those today. And some French Breakfast Radish, which I will be planting here probably, maybe I'll do that today too. So I'm going to go ahead and go outside because it is getting warm and I need to water my garden. And I'm going to go ahead and plant these seeds first, so I'll be right back. So the garden so far has lots of sweet potatoes. And over here... I tried to replant some cucumbers and these are radishes coming up and over here I have cabbages and uh, broccoli and some greens. I planted the zucchini here and it just came up and died. I'm going to be trying to plant some more zucchini. I'm starting to get peppers on these little pepper plants. Bell peppers are really small, but I guess they're growing. My carrots are coming up here. And I have some mustard greens and some, some beets here. I had more beets over this way, but when it rains, the sand just shifts and buries everything. And my tomatoes are starting to make tomatoes, but they're they're not doing so well. They look pretty pretty rough. That one there hasn't produced any at all. It's just been struggling to live the whole time. This one here is doing the best. This is my Fourth of July hybrid tomato. My peanuts, they've done really well. And I have a couple eggplants, but the the ants just keep uh, putting aphids and stuff on them and trying to take them over. I think they built like a little thing on the ground there because this one is what's doing really well and not struggling. This one here is doing okay and I'm hoping it'll finally start making some fruit. I don't know though. My cucumber melon, my mouse melon is starting to grow. Maybe I'll get some little fruits off of that before too long. Some more greens in the ground. I planted them kind of close because close, I didn't expect them to uh, I don't expect them to all live, but maybe they will. That'll be nice. Peanuts are still making flowers. So hopefully if the ants don't get them, this will be lots of peanuts. My corn here I harvested. And I still have some dry beans. They look like they're, some of them are dry, they're black beans. I'm pretty sure you can harvest some of these. These are black beans. 
the other black beans so I can harvest those soon. And uh, ooh, all my seeds here in the back. Um, I think this is where I'll plant zucchini and beans and the bush scallops through here. And over here I have mustard greens. Through here and some cabbage. Some cabbage right here. And here I have a bunch of um, lettuce. And some kale. Oh, looks like I have some type of fungus. Fungus growing here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Ants are everywhere, of course. But I'm really happy that my lettuce is coming up. And my uh, kale seems to be doing okay. Well, this one looks like it has something wrong with it. But for the most part, it's growing. So I'm going to go ahead and plant some seeds all through over here. This is dark green zucchini. I did some zucchini here and put little rocks beside it. I, I put it in kind of like a little couple little wells here to trap the water until it germinates. I think I'll do the same thing with the uh, um, scallops. It would just help me uh, remember where they are. I'll put some more over here. I hope they come up and grow. I really like zucchini and I haven't had any at all this year. Into those there, and I think in between them, I will plant radishes, beans, and I'll plant a row of peas along the edge here. I'll plant all these beans, a couple rows here, and then put the beans in. Weed as I go down through here to plant the peas. See where I marked the rows of the beans with more more rocks here. I find a little palm tree coming up. They grow pretty deep, so they're a lot harder to remove. But I don't want a palm tree growing here. Isn't that neat? Little palm tree. They're actually all over my yard, so I'm not going to keep it. I'm just going to keep making a row here for peas. If I run out of peas, I have more peas inside that I'll put here because I would love to have a nice giant row of peas. I'm going to have my row of beans here, row of beans there, um, bush scallop, beans, zucchini, beans, zucchini, and then I'll have some peas all through here. Area. I might try to weed and plant some more radishes. After I we did this area, I thought I have more room to plant some more zucchini since I didn't have so so good of luck with the other ones I planted. I'm hoping maybe if I plant four of them, um, one of them will survive. So I planted one here and one here. And then I planted the breakfast radishes here. I'll plant some peas all along there. Beans, more zucchini, bush scallops, and hopefully I'll cover them up and water them and they will all grow. See, my beans are on the way out, so I'll be removing these soon, and then there'll be plenty of room for the zucchini. Now I'm just going to water everything and hope it grows.